Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you this Hong Kong style bread cocktail bun made with a method called sponge and dough method. This is one of my favorite bread making method. This involves two mixing and proofing process. For the first step, a sponge is made and allowed to ferment a period of time. And in the second step, the sponge is added to the final dough to form the whole formula of the bread. This method requires a relatively long time to prepare. The sponge needs to be fermented for at least two hours. And after the second mixing, it has to rest for a while before the dough can be used for bread making. Bread made by this method have a softer texture. And the bread will have a longer shelf life without getting hard and dry. As the weather in Hong Kong is relatively hot, I will use ice water to make the dough to avoid the temperature of the dough rising too quickly during the kneading process. So I need to prepare the crushed ice for the ice water. Other ingredients for making the sponge we have here bread flour, sugar, and instant yeast. Mix well and form a dough. Let it rise at room temperature for two and a half hours. During this time, prepare the filling and the garnish, which we call that Mexican batter. For the filling, we have butter and powdered sugar. Mix the butter and the powdered sugar first. Then add cake flour, or we call that pastry flour. Milk powder. And desiccate the coconut. Wrap it with clean film and keep it in the refrigerator. Then prepare the Mexican batter. Mix butter and sugar first. Add the salt. Egg. and flour. Put the batter in a piping bag and set aside. After the sponge finished the first rice, add the ingredient of the main dough. There are ice water, 
plain flour, bread flour, instant yeast, sugar, milk powder, egg, and salt. Add butter after the above ingredients are well mixed. Knead the dough until smooth and elastic. Round the dough and let it rest in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, dividing the filling and shape them in long strips. After 30 minutes, divide the dough into 8 equal portions, about 50 gram each. Then, do the rounding and let them rest for 10 minutes. After that, slapping and flatten the dough into oval shape. Wrap the coconut filling inside the dough and seal the edge. Rolling and shaping them into long strips.
place a bowl of hot water in the oven. Utilize the oven as a proofing cabinet. And proof the dose for 40 minutes. After the final proofing, take out the dose. Preheat the oven at 190 degrees Celsius without fan. And place the oven tray at the lower bottom. Brush the dough with egg wash. And pipe two lines of Mexican batter on top. Sprinkle with white sesame seeds. and bake it for about 12 to 15 minutes. I love it freshly baked and enjoy it best while it's still warm. At the beginning, I thought making cocktail buns is easy by just taking out my old recipe. I was wrong and surprised that I was not satisfied with the result. I have to change the recipe and redo it a few times. So, I think there is always room for improvement. One more thing is, after my husband tastes the bread, he thinks I should put more filling in it. However, I didn't make this adjustment finally because the main ingredient of the filling is butter. I think it is good enough to keep it like that. But of course you can increase the amount of the filling by yourself. The most important thing is to make something you like and enjoy to eat. Hope you like this recipe and see you in my next video. Bye!